So everyone's in quarantine. We can't really leave the house. I can't go outside and film the videos that I want to film because I can't go any closer than six feet to my friends. So like a lot of people, I went into my um, old videos, old photos, and I found a video that I was going to post roughly two years ago. It was like an exploration video. It was like a vlog type video. Um, but yeah, I found that and I was asking myself why I never put this out. So I thought I would release it now. It's quarantine, a surplus of content, is probably a good thing right now. I uh, I filmed this part back when I actually made the video, but I deleted all the videos of me explaining what we did for some reason, because I'm an idiot. I lost all those files. I tried to recover all the files through um, an application called Recuva, but I just, I couldn't find them. So I thought I'd refilm the explanation part of the video for you guys. So I'm gonna briefly explain what the video is about. My friend Ryan and I took this camp over the summer called the DMA, the Digital Media Academy. We learned about filming, just making movies and videos and short films. It was a fun class. I definitely would recommend it for any aspiring film artists or YouTubers, I don't know. It was, it was a pretty laid back class. It was essentially an eight hour camp where we just learned about various film techniques, how to set up shots. We got to use pretty nice cameras and nice microphones. It was, it was really cool. The camp was at a college campus. And so during lunch, we would go to the college cafeteria. We would get there about 11.45 and we'd probably eat for like an hour. This time, Ryan and I, we decided after we were done eating that we wanted to go to Lake Michigan because the camp was right by it. Like, at least that's what we thought. We opened our Google Maps and we ran to the lake, or at least we ran in the direction of the lake, and what we thought was we were gonna get there, but there was a park blocking our pathway to get to the lake. We had to be back at 105, and it was already 1250 something by the time we got to there, and we had no idea how far the forest was gonna go, so. Ryan and I, we finished our food early. We left at about 12.08. We were supposed to be back at the camp by 1.05, so it gave us about an hour. Here's a short clip of us going the first time. We didn't film it then. We didn't film the actual adventure getting there the first time. Here's a clip of me filming us when we got there the first time. Oh, we're on the bike path, yeah. Anyway, the next day, Ryan and I, we were determined to get to the lake and film the entire thing. To us at the time, it was, it was very exciting because we had to cross through some like sketchy passageways to get there. And so we decided to film it. Take into account, this was two years ago. So Ryan and I, we look pretty different, but I just thought it would be interesting to put this video out. I've been sitting on it for way too long. There's no point for me to do that anymore. So without further ado, here is Ryan and I going to Lake Michigan during our film class. All right, guys, what's up? Hey, it's, it's Ryan Leonard and Eric Hankus. Today, we are going to Lake Michigan. We are currently at a camp, a video camp. It's right there. Uh, okay, we're on the journey to get there. And the yeah. first, the first obstacle is this bridge right here, which is uh, pretty spooky. Next yeah. obstacle is the abandoned bridge. So we're in a, yeah. Okay, just a bit of backstory. The reason we're going to the lake. Yeah. So we were at the cafeteria, and we just like we got there, ate super quick, and left early. And now we ha we got like an hour to go, at, like a mile or two, and we have this long journey ahead of us. But we're gonna break mm -hmm. all the rules and go out to that lake. Oh yeah, <laughs> Jaywalk Lakeshore Drive. We're coming up on the prairie area where there's paths which we have to go through to get to the bridge. After this boy. This is the pond right here that we have to cross to get to the lake. And uh, there's a bridge coming up. Yeah, uh, the first day, the first day that we tried to do this, we had like, we had like 10 minutes to get there. So we came up to this point, we thought the lake was right here but it's blocked by this huge pond and like forest preserve thing. So once we get through here though, we, we make it. Yeah. So this is the bridge. Um, it's gated off right now from cars, but we have a secret passageway right through here, I think. Yeah, maybe we go, we, 
So the secret passageway, right through here. Got to get up through here. Um, yeah, easy peasy. All right, so we made it past the bridge, and now we're in like some uh, pathway where it's like a public walkway area, and we're right by. I think that's a mu museum. I don't know what that museum is. Museum of Science and Industry, I yeah. believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's the museum. The lake is dead ahead. We have to cross Lakeshore Drive. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that. Let's go. All right, guys. We made it. It's th there's the lake. This is fun. Uh, yeah, we just crossed uh, the busy Lakeshore Drive. No cars were coming. How lucky is that? Yeah, we got the. Anyway, we're gonna explore some stuff. So yeah, that was me and Ryan's adventure to Lake Michigan during our film camp. And honestly, it was really fun. And I do recommend the camp to anyone. So definitely go check it out. This is the end of the video. I have more videos coming if you guys uh, are excited about that. We got skits, a return of a series. I don't want to name it yet. I, I think it's one of my favorite series on the channel. And also, maybe another anger issues video at some point. I don't know. Thank you guys for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot. Let's try to hit 200 subscribers before quarantine is over. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.